Hey Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming out to you with the reading. Taurus, this is what are their true intentions in love. So this is a reading between you and your person, Taurus. And these are general, so, you know, check your moon and your rising. And also these can be entirely reversed, right? Like a vice versa reading, right? So let's get into it. You're seeing yourself as the Wheel of Fortune uh, from the cosmic deck here, Taurus. And the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, it can be a Sagittarian, right? Let's have a look here uh, about the Wheel of Fortune from this deck, because it's highly interesting, yeah, this deck. Let's see what they have to say about the Wheel, which is the number 10, which is kind of always an ending, right? So that means like the Wheel, or a new beginning, right? The Wheel can kind of turn, right, all the way. It's kind of a, so let's see what we have uh, for the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, their take on it, the world is a mandala. The zodiac turns around the center. Yes, it does. The planets are arranged to represent the tree of life. In the four corners, there are the symbols of the four elements, meaning realization of the cosmic order, application of higher laws, dances of energies, constant changes. Yeah, these can be faded, constant changes, as above, so below, turning point. Mm -hmm. Kind of like an ending, right? The turning point. But can be a new beginning, right? A turning point is a crisis. Where things are so bad, things that have to change, right? And when they change, they typically change for the better. But they start, it's it's a new start uh, search or a new cycle. Search for the center, right? And the wheel turns kind of like on, you know, it's, it's a cycle, right? The zodiac is, these are cycles, right? And search for the center, out of control, seeking for power. So, you know, I'm, I'm really kind of reading these in the upright. So... You know, this could be the realization of the cosmic order. You could be understanding that, right? Uh, and you could be understanding the application of higher laws, right, which are, which have to do with the planets. Interesting here. Mm -hmm. But it could be a turning point for you. It could. The Six of Cups is here, and the Chicken card is here. The Chicken is about lore, kind of like folklore, but this is something, somebody from the past. So is the Six of Cups here. It, it is here. It's a beautiful card. I feel like this is one of the most beautiful cards in the deck, in this deck here. I like this deck because it's a little bit, uh, it's kind of black and white. I feel like there's a word for that uh, when it also has color in it. And your person has the medicine bag, right? Or you guys do. Somebody's using kind of medicinal, herbal, uh, you know, uh, medicine from the higher, you know, from the planets, kind of from the earth, something like that. This could be also kind of, kind of higher powers, right? And using it kind of as medicine. The Wheel of Fortune talks about that. And let's see what else we have. And let's look at the Six of Cups. Let's just have a look here. Uh, you know, their take on it. It is about somebody who feels really kind of at peace with somebody else. But there is also joy. It is kind of like the best type of love. I feel like that's what that's about, but let's have a look here. Uh, somebody who has really great memories, beautiful memories of somebody else. Mm -hmm. And the Six of Cups, let's see where that is. And we have two lovers in an intimate setting in the reed. Yeah, they're outside and they are, you know, kind of in the reed, kind of, uh, I kind of call it like near the marshes, kind of, but they are uh, I could be wrong, I'm not, but the pelican is here, right, in the back, uh, flying here, or a seagull, uh, which can also always talk about water when we see seagulls, right? But the Six of Cups here is uh, two lovers in a beautiful setting, effortless harmony, joy, satisfaction, beautiful memories, or nice memories, recover joy, renewal, renewal. I feel like there's uh, somebody you want to return to right here, chance, longing, and uncontrolled emotions. And they have the card of they needed to grow first. Wow, this is from my deck here. The truth is here, and the attachment card is here. This The lady's taken off the mask. This can be maybe you are attached to something, or your person uh, was kind of chained to something that was unhealthy. The mask is coming off. Uh, she still has the chain here, though. Uh, there's some type of uh, an unhealthy attachment here, or there was, and somebody is realizing that, right? I feel like the Wheel of Fortune was talking about uh, realization of uh, sometimes, you know, realization of things that are going on here. Yes, realization of the cosmic order. 
somebody's realizing something here about somebody from their past, maybe that they needed to grow first. But the truth, somebody is realizing the truth here. Yeah, they are. It's right showing up right here. And uh, let's see what the medicine bag has to say. I feel like it's a no-brainer, but, you know, they always kind of offer up uh, something something really uh, a little bit more interesting here, uh, or elaborative, I should say. The medicine bag, let's see. And gather your resources, be discerning. Yeah, this is about discerning, sure. Vast inner power is growing in your life. Step back and let it grow. There are times to shine brightly for all to see, and there's also times to choose carefully who sees your true self. Yeah, it's really interesting how that is, right? It's kind of a yin and yang kind of, right, energy. Choose wisely. Do not make hasty decisions. If it doesn't feel right, hold back. You're protected from any less than positive outside influences. Your capacity and potential are growing in leaps and bounds. All right. And it starts to talk about, uh, you know, uh, medicinal, the indigenous cultures had medicinal, you know, medicine bags or medicinal bundles as a form of protection. Yeah, and they were plants. Yeah, they were. Interesting here. Mm -hmm. So let's continue here with this reading here and uh, let's find out what this is all about. Your person is seeing yourself as have, as seeing themselves as having beautiful memories or in experiencing some type of beautiful joy. I feel like it's with you, Taurus, because, right, and uh, let's see what this is about. Maybe your person is a Sag, though. I feel like somebody is kind of dissing this bad attachment, or they're realizing that somebody uh, was attached to something that was no good for them, maybe. Maybe they just needed to grow first. And your, pers your energy is the Ten of Cups. Your person's challenge is the Page of Wands. I feel like it's a new path or change in direction. It's in the reverse. It could be really difficult for them, possibly. Maybe they've already done this. Uh, and you're fearing the Ten of Swords, Taurus. Never fear. Power and light is here. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you're fearing an ending with somebody, something like that. Or you're doubting that they're going to end something. Maybe they're attached to something unhealthy here. But, you know, the mask is coming off. So there, I feel like there is some growth here. It says right here they needed to grow. And this could be either of you guys, though. So no digs, right? Maybe maybe you needed to grow, too. Uh, we all need to grow. And Ace of, Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands in the past with the Four of Wands. Yeah, this, you're carrying a burden here about a new beginning you wanted with them. The Wheel of Fortune is here again. I feel like they might be Sagittarius. And uh, let's see what else we have. The Seven of Swords. You could be plotting here. Uh, maybe to escape or something like that. But I feel like what this is, is that you're carrying a burden here about them possibly maybe being sneaky. Why is that Seven of Swords there? Or maybe, you know, let's see, maybe you wanted them to leave a situation. Eight of Wands. I feel like you felt blocked. You might have wanted them to end something here or you might have wanted possibly, um, but there is an ending here, right? The Ten of Swords is here. I don't really like to talk about endings right now. I mean, I don't like to talk about them kind of, uh, what's the word, like too soon, you know, but if we see the Ten of Swords, right, and the Nine of Pentacles is a recent past energy. This can be uh, kind of becoming single, but let's see here. We have the Hermit, and the King of Pentacles is in their energy. There could be Virgo here. In the challenge is the Two of Wands for you, Taurus. Mm -hmm. I feel like you feel like you have no path with this person or you want them to choose you, you want them to leave a situation, something like that. This is a trip, uh, kind of a reading because somebody's learning the truth here. It could be the truth that, it doesn't have to be always the truth that somebody lied. It could be the truth that, uh, you know, there was some type of unhealthy attachment going on. The truth could be about growing, right? It could be about that. It could be about something inward, kind of. But your challenge is the Two of Cups. You're really in love with somebody here. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Sag. There could be a, there could be a third party in this reading, possibly. Mm -hmm. I feel like over here, you know, you're carrying a burden. I feel like you wanted change, and you wanted some fast movement. The Five of Swords. Yeah, you feel like you were maybe being sabotaged or kind of, you know, dealing with games. So maybe somebody was playing games here. 
This person can be somebody who needs to grow, definitely somebody who kind of manipulates. I mean, this could be you, but I feel like you're carrying a burden about that type of energy. I don't feel like that's you. The Two of Swords reversed with the Seven of Cups. This is what you want. I feel like you want somebody to like make up their mind and take off their blindfold and make a careful choice. You're like, time's moving on here, right? Sometimes the Wheel of Fortune can talk about time, right? The wheel's turning. Life's going on. Page of Swords. Yeah, you want to know here. You Or you want to know, or you want to know if they're making up their mind, or if they did, or if they're ever going to. I feel like that's it. And the Ten of Swords is what you fear. So you want this person to come forward. You want a new path with them. You feel blocked. You can feel blocked by another union. Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Yeah. So you're fearing that you're doubting you're not going to be able to hold on to them. I feel like you're fearing that they're not going to end another situation. Or you're fearing it's over and you can no longer hold on to them. You could be realizing the truth that maybe this, is, this has been an unhealthy attachment with that card. Yeah, this is somebody from the past with the chicken and the six of cups. There could be some healing here with this medicine bed. The nine of pentacles, oh, the nine of pentacles, yeah, and the death card is their past energy. Wow. Why do they have the death card? Knight of swords. Looks like they took fast action to become single. It kind of looks like that, but uh, to be to end something and become single. I feel like this is what you want. And they have the Six of Wands. They, uh, they look like they had victory here. Or they overcame that. Let's see. We have to continue with their story you know, a little bit here. Five of Wands, Queen of Cups. So Taurus, <clears throat> this is you. I mean, yeah, this could be you. <clears throat> but it could be a Virgo, right? Because of this Hermit card. But we see the Queen of Cups here. Now we have a Water sign. Most likely. This could be them uh, really in love. Somebody's in love here, right? Two of Cups in the challenge. Six of Cups here. And let's see, they look like they're majorly challenged, though. Lovers. I feel like it's by a choice, maybe about a Gemini. And, you know, the magician showing up. Aries, maybe. Six of Pentacles. For me, your person is really challenged right now by making a choice. They could be making this choice. They could have felt restless in the past about it. Knight of Swords can sometimes just show rest, restless energy. The Hangman. I feel like your person felt stuck here. There could be a Pisces here. But this reading is really about, I feel like they're in some union. Yeah, I feel like they're in a union and you want them to leave. And they could be in a reunion, in a union, not a reunion. They could be in a union that's unhealthy, right here, attachment, right, where the lady is, she's realizing the truth, that she's in some type of an unhealthy situation, taking her mask off. Uh, this is why she's been chained. Like, she's kind of been, like, chained by her own, by her own, by herself, like, from her own, maybe, energy or willingness They could be, maybe they are growing now, right? And they're taking the mask off. The Page of Wands is their, is their challenge reversed with justice. They might have to get a divorce. They could. And the Four of Cups here. They could be dealing with a Libra too in their challenge, but they're unhappy here. I feel like they're, it looks like they're unhappy in another situation. And they could be resisting. They could have been resisting, like walking away from a situation that like doesn't really serve them. Three of Pentacles is what they want with the Moon card, or they're hoping. I feel like they want to work things out, but they have doubts and fears. The moon card, Knight of Pentacles. That's you, Taurus, most likely, or Virgo. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Here they are. Uh, they, I feel like they want things to work with you, Taurus, but they have doubts and fears. I feel like that's it. And they're kind of like just looking at the situation like, like just, you know, analyzing. That's what the Seven of Cups is. You want them to make, make up their mind here. I feel like you do, definitely. Two of Swords, Reverse, Seven of Cups, Page of Swords. 
feel like you want them to make a choice in a situation. I feel like you want them to end this attachment that they have to somebody. You're like, take off your damn mask and unchain yourself. I feel like that's what this is. You want them to realize the truth. This is somebody from your past where there's, there could be beautiful memories on both sides. Let's see what else they're fearing. They're in the Eight of Swords energy. This person has fear. I feel like they do. And they feel stuck. They could be uh, learning to have courage here, possibly. This can be fear. Page of Wands in the reverse. Fear of a new path. Here they are, unhappy or disappointed. They can feel like maybe you're going to reject them, possibly. But what I'm getting in this reading is that somebody's afraid to walk a new path. Even though the situation they're dealing with is like not anything great. Yeah. See what else they're fearing or doubting? With the Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. They're afraid they can't manifest the situation with you. I feel like they are. The Sun card. Maybe there's Leo here. I feel like your person is afraid if they turn their back, they might not be happy. Queen of Swords. So here they are, once again, in their doubts or their fears, kind of like analyzing the situation. There could be a Libra here too, especially with justice in the challenge. But here they are, discerning here, their clarity here. I feel like they... Uh, and they could also be, right now, in this energy, like... I can't, there's no way out unless I turn my back on the situation. Or I can't manifest this with Taurus unless I kind of, like, leave a situation. I feel like they are realizing that with this card. The lady's taking the mask off. We're going to go to the other, to, we're going to go to the extended Taurus. They're all super affordable. I want to see what this reading is about because it's, it's deep. This is about uh, kind of heavy feelings between two people. Yeah, this isn't anything, like, on the surface. No, it's a little deep. And we're going to see the underlying energies, how they feel, how they're seeing the situation, what's most important or fundamental to them, or pressing actions they're going to take, what they hide, and their true intentions are all super affordable. Thank you so much for joining me here, Taurus. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.